is called a humble blueprint. Okay, they're gone. The towers collapsed to rubble. Two insane tons then lifted. It had to be a dream. In gigantic drippings into, then out of scoops, and gone as well invincibility, which hemispheric distance had conferred on us, now blown away. Level with steel and arrogance, and gone the massive honeycomb buzzing of its life. The 50,000 people working the sleekest hive drone drone. But with collapse we found uncertainty. It was our tender core raked and bleeding that was uncovered. But how? For braided into the weeping light of loss were vivid questions. How give wiped out the deepest groan? the still pulsating sob, some purging substance. How honor harsh, the gross, the gorgeous, snarling money lust, the busy, busy, the business, busy brilliance of America, and the socko, socko, double, brutal twins we built, frontiersmen still, topping it all, punching the stories up with gilded fists, but everything, that huge reality, the day, the hour, the minutes unholy flash, and then the rumbling in the stone as buildings crashed and flesh, this sentence shrieks, that hour is gone. And though grief-withered faces dry themselves, the water falling inward never stops. There must be something to imprint this thing on the sky, on the incoherent wilderness of the mind, blaze humble inspiration, start bare with ground, and to a millimeter fussiness recreate those brutes, four-sided ditto, and rising wall and wall to fabled height, it is the air's new ceiling with no steel involved, just glass, but fired to a strength commensurate with eyeball goggling head snapped back with dizzying height, the underneath it all unbearable. Give us a non-reflective sheave, no shine, a surface harsh pocked through fire. And when these ghosts go up, and towers one and two begin through glass to reappear, transparent memorial. That's when the dump kicks in. Re revisit them, rescoop the Staten Island sorrow, 9-11's sickening debris, and truck it back in funeral cortege to bedrock, Zero's dying place. How appropriate. The silencing of bells, or muted drums, or even the hard intake of breath. That's when this mangled trash is lifted, second coming into altitude to haunted tops. And with the harsh glass holding steady wall, it's poured back in. Tower one, two-thirds filled up. The second, less than half. The ceiling where the clouds sit comfy puff or spitting rain that's fitted same old glass the past sealed into a memory of ghostly walls and with the eye worshipping these humbled scraps concrete wood asbestos steel a haunted memo electronic wreckage each speck that weeps of ashen things left burning these scraps become the holy confines of a shrine. At the tower's base, surrounding them, eternal light, for each one killed, small thousands of them flickering, each name engraved, we wander, looking up, looking, or up from height, look down, for built around, surrounding the rigid looming verticals, but away from them, an undulant, unrigid amphitheater. Three tiers, or four, or sometimes two, or one, 
or rising ten plus plus, but keeping always a human scale, where one could sit, <coughs> look up or down, move comfortably, traverse the haunted circle, or on unfalsified bedrock, unfalsified bedrock, stand vulnerable with those who died. For it is loss that we memorialize, two aching sides of it, making pre-sorrow clear what was and what has since become of it. On the reconfigured streets surrounding the memorial, give business in its explosive exuberance with trees and green lawns to soften the clamor. Give it an architecture that is freewheeling, fired grim with purpose, bubbling with cold-blooded optimism that is wide-eyed, expansive, forbiddingly conservative, shark-like in its ferocity, soaring in its imaginative thrust, Byzantine in its structuring, give business our ferocious engine, give it its due. And with an architecture that blares and stumps, all stops let out, O oh holy sight. Let it encapsulate our grief, but also through the face of brilliant buildings. It is our future, but rekindled, that we'll see. Thank you.